Hi everyone, it's Rory with the Rory Burkhardt team here at EXP. I hope you guys are all having a great summer. Um, thanks for tuning in. We wanted to just give you a quick update on what the market is doing here locally so that if you do have plans on doing anything real estate related in the near future or you're just wondering what's happening here at a local level, we can share that information with you and uh, be a resource for that. So a lot of people are wondering what is going to happen with the real estate market and you know they've been uh, looking at news and I'm sure that if you've been following some of the clickbait and you see the interest rates are rising and you know what is the Fed doing and what's happening with the jobs reports and what does the outlook look like for our real estate market, um, this is going to give you a much more local feel and you'll get some more information uh, with that regard. So without further ado, the July numbers have just come out from the MLS and if you're a buyer in today's market, you're already feeling what I'm about to tell you, but our inventory is down to the lowest levels that we've had in the last five year period of time. Our listings are down about 27% for the entire MLS and what that translates to is just an extreme lack of inventory. Our closed sales are following suit, but interestingly enough, if you look at the national data where they're showing home sales and home values are going down in different parts of the country like California and Texas and, and Nevada and Arizona, here locally, we're still appreciating. And it's an interesting sort of anomaly with our market because we have such a lack of inventory. Our average home prices are actually up to 9% from the beginning of this year to now, which is kind of crazy. But as a buyer in this market, you're kind of feeling that same pressure uh, with our average home sales year to date is we're averaging about 103.7% of sale to list price. Meaning that there, in most cases there's multiple offers and people are competing because there's just not enough inventory to sell. So these are things that we're keeping a close eye on. Active listings in the entire area, For we'll take Chester County as an example. Uh, right now actively on the market there are 536 homes from zero to $100 million in Chester County. Now of that 530 six homes that are on the market, over 200 of those are new construction. So if you take the new construction out across all price ranges in Chester County, we have about 330 homes that are resale on the market available for sale. So it's a challenge. Um, interest rates, interest rates have been climbing. And as you know, if you're a buyer in this market right now, interest rates are hovering around seven and a half, closing in on 8%, depending on your, your, your credit score and the different terms that you're trying to create for yourself. So boiling this back to what type of market are we in? If you're a seller, it's a fantastic market. We're, we're averaging tons of action on your house. We're averaging uh, about five offers per every home that we sell. So in most environments and most price ranges, you're gonna see that. In the higher price sector, that is obviously not as many because we don't have as many home buyers in that price point. In the entry level and mid level prices, there's so much demand because there's just not enough inventory. So how do we how do we navigate this? Right? If you're a seller, it's a great time to sell if you have somewhere to go. If you're a buyer coming into this market, what are you doing? You, you there's still ways to get into homes. And you know, the reality is year to date we've sold 2,952 homes in Chester County. So homes are still selling, sellers are still selling, buyers are still buying. A lot of times what they're doing is they're buying knowing that their rate is going to be a little bit higher and a little bit uncomfortable until the rates start to come down. They will eventually start to come back down again. And then what they're making the decision to do is to refinance at that point. So they're kind of marrying the home and dating the rate. Now, how do we get out of this situation? Really, the only way for us to really get out of this is for us to create more inventory. And so for that reason, that's why, uh, you know, a lot of companies like if you take, for example, Warren Buffett, he just invested close to a billion dollars in new construction companies like NVR, Lennar and the big national builders, because he's seeing the fact that the national builders are up about 30 percent in terms of sales. So they're very bullish on the new construction side of this being the one of the lead indicators for helping us to get out of this scenario. So in the long term, I think that we're going to be just fine. The sky is not falling. Um, if you guys are looking to buy or to sell this year, it's very, very important in a year that's in this much uh, turmoil to align yourself with someone that really knows what they're doing. We're coming into another election year and we'll see how that impacts things next year as well. 
but uh, we are here for you and we've sold you know many homes this year already um, and we're aligning ourselves with many new clients that are also actively looking so if you're one of those people please reach out to us and uh, our resources are all here for you at your disposal so you can reach out to us on uh, the phone or in our email uh, in the link below thanks again and tune in next time